line and on your smart speaker. I fix Mildura. Always there for you when you damage your phone. Hit News Briefing. Hello, I'm Alicia McFarlane. The head of Woolworths says the time is right to step down. Brad Banducci will call it quits in August after more than eight years as a supermarket giant CEO. I felt like the time was right to pass the baton to the next generation of Woolworths and I'm delighted to say that the next CEO of Woolworths will be an internal appointment. Amanda Bible as our managing director of Woolies X right now. Woolworths denies his retirement was sparked by a heated Four Corners interview earlier this week that saw Banducci walk out. Wages are finally outpacing inflation, with the latest data showing a 4.2% rise in the year to December. This is the highest annual growth since March 2009, and Treasurer Jim Chalmers says it's ahead of schedule. The new numbers today is very welcome and it's very encouraging, but we know that people are still under pressure and that's why our cost of living tax cuts are so important. A cyclone blue alert has been issued for parts of WA's north, with communities urged to prepare for damaging winds and heavy rain over the coming days. Ex-tropical cyclone Lincoln is expected to redevelop along the Pilbara coast on Friday. Mark Hayden, the convicted accomplice in the notorious Snowtown murders, will be released from prison early under supervision. South Australian Attorney General Kaya Ma says new legislation is being proposed to allow continued supervision after his official release. We have legislation before Parliament that I expect will pass tomorrow to put that question beyond doubt and make sure that the Supreme Court can consider the our application for an extended supervision order. To sport, North Melbourne midfielder Taryn Thomas remains in limbo as the AFL mulls his potential sanction. CEO Andrew Dillon says a probe into inappropriate behaviour allegations is ongoing. The issues there which were raised through our respect and responsibility portal are allegations and complaints that we take really seriously. It's a complex and complicated issue and we'll continue to work through that. And Aussie veteran Steve Smith has surprisingly been omitted from the T20 team currently facing New Zealand. Matthew Short replaces him. Five years, Aussies have been powering their passion with Battery World. So if you're hitting the open road, on your next outdoor adventure, or simply taking pride in a job well done, there's only one place to go, and that's Battery World. Sunraysia Mower Centre, your local Husqvarna dealership, 60 Orange Avenue, Mildura. This is hit weather. For the rest of Wednesday in Sunraysia, mostly sunny and 37. And tomorrow, mostly sunny with a low of 23 and a high of 41 degrees. And find the spy who betrayed Australia in secrets we keep. Nest of Trade Listener app.